Thai has offered to export additional F-A-50s and its future KF-21 Borame multirole aircraft to the PAF the Philippine Air Force. PAF should look into the possibility of upgrading or acquiring a more capable version of the F-A-50PH light fighter jet that has a speed of Mach 1.5 to further enhance its defense capabilities. This statement was made by Regional Manager and Chief, Aircraft BD and Sustainment Korea Aerospace Industries, Kai Kim Sang-ong at the Air Force Symposium at the Marriott Hotel in Pasay City. In his presentation, he recommended to the PAF that they acquire three squadrons of upgraded F-A-50s at three key points for coverage of the entire Philippine territory and rapid response to threats. Kim also recommended retrofitting or upgrading the 12 F-A-50PHs currently in service, so they are capable of performing air-to-ground, air-to-sea, and air-to-air -air mission objectives. This includes equipping the aircraft with a full range of radar and targeting systems as well as a 300-gallon external fuel tank to increase the FA-50PH's combat range. Kim said this proposal is the most cost-effective solution to achieve the PAF's goal of becoming a credible air force. Additionally, he said the FA-50 is the most cost-effective solution that customers around the world choose to purchase as a next-generation multi-role fighter. Kim also said the F-A-50's advanced combat capabilities provide customers with more options for flexible operations. The F-A-50PH has a top speed of Mach 1.5 or 1.5 times the speed of sound and is capable of being equipped with air-to-air -air missiles, including the AIM-9, Sidewinder, air-to-air -air and heat missiles. Look for missiles other than cannons and light automatic bombs. A total of 12 F-A-50s were acquired from Korea Aerospace Industries for 18.9 billion Philippine pesos. Deliveries began in November 2015 and were completed in May 2017. The F-A-50PH was bloody during the five-month battle of Marawi in 2017. Additionally, Kim said the PAF should check their KF-21, Borame, which is an ongoing development. The KF-21, which is also produced by Kai, is a South Korean fighter aircraft development program, with the involvement of Indonesia, with the aim of producing a sophisticated multirole fighter aircraft for South Korea and Indonesia. This program is led by the South Korean government which owns 60% of the shares in the program. Indonesia took a 20% stake in this program in 2010, while the remaining 20% is owned by private partners including Kai. South Korea is expected to deliver the KF-21 in 2026. The main users are the Republic of Korea Air Force and the Indonesian Air Force. The KF-21 is South Korea's second domestic fighter jet development program, after the F-A-50. The F-A-50 light fighter was touted as a game changer during the siege of Marawi, a five-month battle between government forces and Islamic State-linked militants in 2017, which killed thousands. Kai and other Korean defense companies such as Dawson Engineering and Lignex-1 set up booths at Clark Air Base to show off their equipment. South Korea, one of the world's largest arms exporters, has been a major source of defense equipment for the Philippines. It is currently building six offshore patrol vessels and two corvettes for the Philippine Navy with a combined value of P-58 billion. Seoul recorded exports worth $14 billion in 2023 and aims to become one of the top four global defense exporters by 2027. The Philippine Air Force, PAF, on Wednesday said that its non-operational F-A-50PH light fighter jet is undergoing mandatory scheduled maintenance. While it is true that we have F-A-50 aircraft currently in non-operational status, the majority of these aircraft are simply undergoing scheduled maintenance which is a mandatory preventive check and will be back in the air soon, an Air Force spokesperson said. Colonel Ma Consuelo Castillo, in her message to the Philippine news agency. This comes after reports said only three F-A-50PHs are currently operational due to sustainability issues. Some are also waiting for spare parts to come from abroad. Most of these spare parts we call time change items, TCI, 
and need to be replaced after certain hours of use to ensure safe flight operations, said Castillo. He added that the delay in delivery of these spare parts was largely influenced by a slowdown in the supply chain due to recent global events. The South Korea-made FA-50PH is considered the PAF's premier air combat aircraft and is used extensively for air defense, attack, and other support missions.